Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another night of boxing. Brought to you by the Black Tie Boxing Corporate Fight Night. And who is a proud supporter of the Beyond Blue organization, a wonderful organization that is very inspirational, I think, for the mental health industry. As you can hear tonight, the first fight is coming into the ring. We have Graham Wrecking Ball Robinson fighting Mark off at Redfern Wrong. Crowd standing, the fans are cheering, and I'm trying to find out some more information on these guys. Here we go. Here we have the entourage coming in and the salute from the boxer. Dressed in his Spanish bullfighting outfit. What the hell that's about, I've no idea. With his, with his girls, a good girl. Showmanship carrying on. Let's hope he's got the fighting prowess to back it up. So this is Mark. We're getting off at Redfern. Go on. Getting off at Redfern. I have no idea what that means. Mark is 180 centimeters tall, 78 kilos. His occupation is a dentist, which you can see obviously now that he's taken his Spanish outfit off. He looks more like a dentist than ever. His motivation for the fight tonight is to put the icing on my midlife crisis cake and to help the blue people, of course, which is a wonderful cause. Obviously, the midlife crisis involved running of the bullshit in Pamplona. And into the ring, as you've just heard now, coming is Graham Wrecking Ball Robinson. Wrecking Ball, obviously named after his idol, Miley Cyrus. That he's coming in new. With his tongue hanging out. Let's hope he does a bit of twerking during the round. If I'm not mistaken, this may be the music for World of the Worlds. When two worlds collide. When Rocking Ball collides with Redfern, which isn't such a bad idea because Redfern has pretty much gone past itself by then. Redfern's looking a little jittery now, he's got the uniform off. The character is gone and the real Redfern is standing. Look at his opponent. Wrecking Ball is looking as mean. Looking as mean as a Holden Commodore. We're starting to get into the serious stuff. The head guard goes on. Nerves are jangling. All the pre-fight fun and frivolity is now over. The music comes to an end. The crowd gathers. The ladies take their iPhones. Obviously, getting off of Redfern seems to have a bigger following than Justin Bieber. The guys have still not looked at each other yet, square in the face.
And judging by the ring girl, I won't be looking at them either. Here we go, boys. Nerves are jangling. This is what it's all about. All 12 weeks of training. They will come out. I can predict the fight. They will come out. They will dance around. They will look at each other. They will make some funny noises. They will like dance each other for 30 seconds. Here we go. Still haven't looked at each other. Now looking at the floor. They're checking the canvas, both of them. Yeah, the canvas is fine. Here we go. Yeah, yep, yep. Wrecking Ball's got his dancing knees going, but the feet are still on the floor. Here we go, and the ring's gone. And we're in. Here we go. It's a looking contest. We can look the hardest. Here we go. Wrecking Ball, I mean, both throwing jabs. Here we go, a right hook over the top there by Wrecking Ball. Oh no, he was three feet away for that one. A little one jittery dancing. They're twerking, both of them. Twerk, twerk, twerk. Going forward. Oh, lovely right hand there by Wrecking Ball. Well, the guard's down, getting cocky already. Obviously been watching the Andy Mundine fight. Here we go. Oh, lovely combination there. Red Fern's really coming in. Lovely start. There's a lot of telegraphing of the punches. They shake their hands a little while before they throw them. I don't know if it confuses the opponent or more confuses them. Here we go. Here we go, guys. Get in there. That's it. Get the fighting guy. Oh no, backing off, waiting for the ref to take over. And the ref's got rubber gloves on, just in case. And a bit more looking at each other, weighing each other up. Left jabs each, left jabs more. Oh, lovely combination there, wild swings. Okay, time to look at each other again. Oh, kidney punch there from Redford. Wrecking ball though, he's got some uppercuts going. Uh, the lack of training starting to come in there, but they're both getting tired, about a middle and a half into the round. Yes, and lovely right hand over the top, and punching, yes, a little bit of style there, whoa, whoa, a little bit closer, they have done some damage. Okay, the, knee, the knees are too straight on Redfern. He needs to bend his knees and back. Okay, it's a looking contest again, here we go. Maybe it's choreograph, maybe they're just queuing up their dance. Here we go, yes! Right hand there from Redford. 20 seconds to go, I'm hearing. That's right, it's two minute round. Well, that wasn't too bad a round. They've weighed each other up, they've got some punches in, now they know they're here for the real thing. Well, Wrecking Ball was going to sit down and saw the other guy wasn't, so I better stand up as well. The cameras are on. And God, it must be embarrassing when the ring announcement, when the ring girl is taller than you. And they're both getting various bits of coaching from their corner man. Wayne in the corner there for wrecking ball. Wayne would be telling him to keep it straight, keep it composed, keep it calm. Wrecking ball could win this if he just gets into his style, gets a rhythm, slows it down a little. These are the minute to tidy themselves up and then get into it for the last minute. Hang on, we've stopped it already. Oh, they've got to stand in the white corners. Water on the road, we're on the ring, on the canvas here. Yeah, they've got the waiter in, somebody split the drink. Here we go, looking contest again. Here we go, back in, guys. Here we go, nice, nice jabs there from Wrecking Ball. Wow, straight coming forward, yes. He's taking the advice from Wayne. Yes. Redfern's got some curved defense there. Yes, they're really getting into it. Well, the referee wants to get involved. He's getting jealous. No one's looking at him. Come on in, guys. That's it. Lay each other up. Left jab. Left jab. Lovely. First in. Best dressed. Good. Good. Evenly matched fight. Good punches. Good punches there from Redstone. If he could just throw his right hand a little bit more with his hip, he's just throwing his arm. 
He needs to get the body weight behind it. Whip it out. Oh, nice right hand over the top there from Wrecking Ball. There we go. The, the exhaustion's kicking in there. Yes, dancing. Going for the bigger punches. Don't want to knock each other out. Gasping for air. I can feel that chin strap tightening up on their head guards. Nice jabs, nice jabs. I think it's pretty evenly scored at the moment. Redfern's hitting a lot of glove, he's not hitting much powder. Yeah, there's a good bit of spray come off Wrecking Ball then. Nice jab again. I think this is going to be a fight about who the fittest man wins. They're pretty evenly matched in their boxing ability. Here we go, looking at each other again. Yep, get a breath back. Weighing it up, weighing it up. There we go, left, left, then we go. Lovely right hand. I think Wrecking Ball has decided he's just going to go for the knockout. The big Wrecking Ball right hand coming in from outside the ropes. Redfern's weighing it up. He's more the boxer. There you go. Combinations. Beautiful combination. Oh! And a lovely knockdown by Redfern. That was a legitimate right hand. Right hook. Put him down on his knees. No 30 count. Taking it as a tip. There we go. Into the round. Well, we've only had slow motion replay. We would see that was actually a legitimate right hand. Over the top. Put it. Put Wrecking Ball down on his knee. Beautiful ring girls here this evening, one of which I think is a Miss Australia. Let's go, Red. Let's go, Red. Here we go, guys. Round three. Put third and final round. Let's get everything. Wear it up. Wear it up. We both know each other's strength. And trying to overcome their own weaknesses. Good guards on both. Obviously well trained by Jono. Yeah. Redfern's got a good right hand there. He just needs to get the body weight. He's only throwing the arm. He needs to get the shoulder behind it. Get the hip behind it. Yes. Wrecking ball's really powering through now. Keep changing the start. Left to right. Right to right. Here we go, oh, they're just standing here, Kite! I think this Redfern has this one. He needs to get his breath. Get your arms off the rope, son. Get your arms off the rope. Here we go, back in. Redfern, capitalise on what you've already done. Come on, son, nice jab, nice jab. Yes, right hand to the body. He's not afraid. Right hand to the head then from Redfern. Wrecking ball, just got to go with everything. He knows the time's ticking away. Head down, bulldozing his way through. I can see why Redfern had the ball fighting. He's just got, he's just got a black bear coming at him. Left hooks and right hooks, like a pair of horns. Here we go. Pull on, guys. Give the crowd something to cheer about. Here we go. Redfern caught it again. Right hand over the top gets him every time. Wrecking ball. It could be going down again. Absolutely. Redfern out of pop. Next up, Red Fern, I think the steam train has run out of car. We're back to the looking contest. Nice job. They're two spinning tops bouncing off each other. Red Fern's nose is bleeding, which the girls will love. They're actually more on their toes now they're wearing their money. Oh, that was a lot of blood. Wrecking ball cut one in the actual wrecking balls. He's wrecked his ball. And there's the end of the line. What a wonderful fight. Great first line. A great first line fight from two deserved fighters. Excellent fight. Let's hope the others can live up to this this evening.
Standing ovation from both teams supported. For me, I think Redfern had that tonight. Had the technique, had the scoring punches. Not to take too much away from Arm, wrecking ball. But I think Miley Cyrus has come off second best. Now. It will be declared a draw, but what a wonderful punch. Mark, you're getting off that red fence. <laughs> 